it was either 2009, 2010, I was in eighth grade of middle school, and my mom and stepdad abandoned me. Um, luckily, I had a grandparent that took me in, but I also had a family that kind of worked as not necessarily a foster, foster family, but similar to that. You know, my family, before they kicked me out, we were all big into wrestling. Well, one day, the mom, the mom that adopted me is telling me a story about when she used to be into wrestling with a bunch of kids where she grew up. And she was talking about they were in the Baltimore Convention Center for one of the little shows back in the 70s. Um, and at the time, they were all sitting on a bus, and the wild Samoans came up banging on the window to scare all the fans. I knew where that story was going immediately because that was one my mom had always told me. I found it ironic that the woman that kicked me out and the woman that took me in actually knew each other as a child through wrestling. Yeah, it's like uh, I, I titled this Wrestling Jewish Geography. No, I, I just titled it Wrestling Geography, but that's what we would call Jewish Geography is – just knowing different Jews around the world through friends or people. And this is kind of fascinating a little bit. I was kind of fascinated by the story, kicked out by the family, brought in by another one, and they were on the same bus. At least I think that's how the story goes. That was being mauled by the uh, Samoans. There was a This American Life story once about two people from across the world, and one girl was dating another guy, and she showed a picture of her grandparent, and in the background was the guy's grandparent from like 50 years ago, and they had never met. It was just very fascinating. And I kind of got the same vibes from this through the story process. There was no picture, but there was two stories being told, both the same stories by different people with the same son involved. So kind of a fascinating story, kind of a fascinating call. I really enjoyed it. Thought I'd throw it on the podcast. And I'm sorry you had a, a rough life, but uh, hopefully wrestling helped making a wrestling helped and ha, and is helping making it a better one. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.